Good afternoon, everyone. This is Cassandra. Welcome to Cassandra's Garden. And I'm going to have to do this video in parts. Unfortunately, I do not have like really fancy and up to date camera equipment. My camera equipment is not as sophisticated as it should be. And I do apologize. I am going to be getting more sophisticated and up to date camera equipment after the new year. But right now, I'm just going to work with what I got. So I hope that you will just be patient with me and watch the parts. This is part one of a recipe that I want to share with you and show you how to make it. And it is absolutely delicious. I love potatoes. I think probably most of the people, the billions of people on the planet love potatoes. And the best thing about potatoes is they're so versatile. You can make them any way that you want. And they're usually delicious. Well, this is a new recipe that I have came across, and I just wanted to put it on my channel and share it with the world. It is called caramelized, uh, excuse me, Dijon caramelized onion mashed potatoes. And I'm going to bring you back and show you how I put it all together. But first, let me give you the ingredients. I have here six baking potatoes, russet potatoes, if you will, chopped and ready to boil. I have already sterilized my tap water, meaning that I've got it in a great big, great giant big stock pot. I filled it full of water and I boiled the water for 30 minutes, thus sterilizing my tap water so that I don't have to worry about microbes and stuff on my food. That's just gross. So my water's ready to go and I'll be boiling my potatoes. I have here two diced yellow onions. And then I have here two onions that are cut in rounds. You'll understand what that's going to go for in just a minute. Right here, I have one cup of heavy whipping cream, three tablespoons of Dijon mustard, one fourth cup of horseradish, one uh, excuse me, a half a cup of butter. All of this is room temperature. The milk, the heavy whipping cream is room temperature. The Dijon mustard is room temperature. The horseradish is room temperature. And the half a cup of real butter is cut up into cubes and is also room temperature. You must have these ingredients room temperature so when you add them to your potatoes they don't gum up you don't want that or otherwise your dish will be completely ruined i have here one tablespoon of parsley one teaspoon of sea salt and a half a teaspoon of ground black pepper i'm going to caramelize the diced onions i'm going to caramelize the round onions. The reason these are separate is because the diced onions are going to go in the potatoes. The round car caramelized onions are going to go on top of your potatoes that after they've been placed in your baking dish. And it's amazing. And the parsley will also go on top of the round car caramelized onions. Now, I have to go and prepare all this. I'm going to bring you back for a part two. You're going to love this recipe. It is so amazing. So just remember, six baking potatoes cut up, two <clears throat> onions diced. They go in the potatoes. Two yellow onions cut into rounds. One cup of room temperature heavy whipping cream. Three tablespoons accurately measured of Dijon mustard room temperature one fourth cup of horseradish room temperature a half a cup of real butter diced room temperature one tablespoon of parsley one teaspoon of sea salt and or regular salt whatever you have and a half a teaspoon of black pepper i'm going to boil my potatoes car caramelize both of my onions and then i'll bring you back and show you how i put it all together <music> 